بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وبه نستعين اللهم صل وسلم على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين I am Dr. Insaf Ibrahim Hussain Al-Shimari I work as lecturer in Ambar uh, lecturer in College of Medicine Ambar University My lecture in pharmacology for uh, third stage students. Our lecture today, prostaglandins. Prostaglandins. What is prostaglandins? First of all, what is prostaglandins? Prostaglandins, serotonin, and histamine belong to a group of compounds, which is called autocoids. So, what is autocoids? Autocoids consist of uh, three uh, different uh, substances, such as uh, prostaglandins, serotonin, and histamine. So, these heterogeneous substances have widely differing uh, from each other in structure and pharmacological activities. So, the prostaglandin differ from serotonin and histamine in, 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 in structure and pharmacological activity. But they all have the common feature of being formed by the tissue on which, on which they act. Thus, they consider as local hormones. That means that these substances act at the same tissue on the same tissue where where is where where are where are synthesized so these substances consider as local hormones the autocoids also differ from circulating hormones when comparison between autocoids and or sorry, the, the differences between autocoids and circulating hormone show the differ between them. Number one, the autocoid produce or synthesis by many tissues, while circulating hormones produce or synthesis in, in the specific endocrine glands. Number two, the autocoid act on the same tissue where is synthesized while endocrine uh, circulating hormones while circula circulating hormones act in the uh, target organ or on other organ it is synthesis in the organ and act on the other organ so this differences between between uh, autocoids and circulating hormones Prostaglandins, first, uh, first of all, the chemical structure of uh, prostaglandin, prostaglandins are unsaturated fatty acid derivatives that act on the tissues in which they are synthesized and are rapidly metabol metabolized to inactive products at the site of action. So, prostaglandin synthesis on, this, on, uh, on, on certain site and act on the uh, same site, and the act on the same site. So, it is considered as local hormone. Prostaglandin contribute to pain or responsible to pain, both peripherally and centrally. This figure show the synthesis of prostaglandins. Phospholipase A2, which act on, on the membrane phospholipids, which converted to arachidonic acid. And this arachidonic acid, in, in turn, converted to prostaglandin G2 
and then this converted to prostaglandin H2. And the presence of cyclooxygenase 1 or cyclooxygenase 2 or COX-1 or COX-2. Then prostaglandin H2, prostaglandin H2, in turn converted to other substances such as prostacycline I2, the abbreviation VGI2, and prostaglandins D2, E2, and F2 alpha, as well as prostaglandin H2 can convert to thromboxin A2. So, this pathway for the synthesis of prostaglandins and the thromboxin, as well as prostacycline. And here, prostacycline, BGI2, and prostaglandins type D2, E2, and F2 alpha, and thromboxin A2. These, these substances produced from prostaglandin H2 in the presence of prostaglandins and thromboxin synthesis and isomerases in the presence of this enzyme. Receptor mechanisms. Here we show the uh, receptor is very important for the mechanism of for the mechanism of action of prostaglandins. Prostaglandin are close to the site of their synthesis and not as circulating hormone. Why? Because circulating hormone release or synthesis from the specific endocrine glands and they act uh, on the other uh, tissue or other organ while prostaglandin synthesis from the different tissue and act on the uh, same side of the synthesis. These ligands, prostaglandin, prostaglandins, these ligands bind to receptors. The receptor of a prostaglandin called prostanoid receptor. Prostanoid receptor, where is located? Are on the cell surface and the pharmacological specificity is determined by two factors as receptor density and type on different cells. So the pharmacological specificity can determine by receptor density and type on different cells. The prostanoid receptors are eight subtypes, such as prostaglandin E receptor. So, E prostanoid receptor in turn subdivided into one, two, three, and four. These subtype receptor related to the subtype related to the prostaglandin E receptor. Also, prostaglandin D receptor. Prostaglandin D, D, D receptor. Prostaglandin F receptor, FP. Prostaglandin G1 receptor, G, GI, prostaglandin GI receptor, IP. As well as thromboxin receptor TP. Here, some pharmacological actions of prostaglandins. Prostaglandins have different, different pharmacological actions on the, on the, on the different tissues according to the uh, 
receptors and uh, according to the receptors and uh, location of these receptors in the tissue. So here we are talking about some pharmacological action as prostaglandin E2. Prostaglandin E2 can cause vasodilation when act on the blood vessel, cause vasodilation and also other, other uh, effect inhibits platelet aggregation and this play uh, because platelet uh, aggregation this step is very important for the glute formation when uh, occur uh, blood vessel injury or cut of the blood vessel so prostaglandin E2 can cause inhibit platelet aggregation also prostaglandin E2 when act on the uterus can cause uterus contraction when act on the smooth muscle of the uterus lead to a uterus contraction prostaglandin I2 can cause relaxed vascular smooth muscle also when act on the GIT prostaglandin I2 can cause increase mucus secretion in, in, in the stomach this is this is this uh, effect is very uh, important for the protect protect uh, the mucosa of stomach uh, especially when uh, uh, occur uh, when when produce, when uh, there is uh, ulcer in the GIT also prostaglandin I2 when when uh, act on the uterus can cause uterus relaxation. Number three, prostaglandin D2. This type of prostaglandin can cause contraction of bronchial and tracheal muscle. For, so, so this this action, this action on the respiratory system can cause uh, a contraction of bronchial and tracheal muscles. Other type of prostaglandin, prostaglandin F2 alpha. This type is considered as potent vasoconstrictor. When this act on the uh, uh, vascular uh, on the uh, vascular system, also prostaglandin F2 alpha can cause contraction of uterus when act on the uh, uterus, muscle of the uterus, when act on the uterus of the muscle. Other type of, uh, other type, thromboxane A2. Also, thromboxane A2 considered as vasoconstrictor. Cause contraction of uterus. Also, when act on the platelet, can induce platelet aggregation. This action of thromboxane A2 is opposite, opposite to prostaglandin E2 because prostaglandin E2 can cause vasodilation while thromboxane A2 cause vasoconstrictor. Prostaglandin E2 cause inhibits platelet aggregation while thromboxane A2 cause induce, induce uh, platelet aggregation. But prostaglandin E2 and thromboxin A2, both of them can cause uterus, uterus contraction. This is, this is the, uh, some pharmacological action of prostaglandins. Uses of prostaglandins. The uses of prostaglandins of prostaglandins uh, is uh, according to the uh, type of receptors uh, on the tissue 
and we we uh, we are uh, talking about prostaglandin. We are talking uh, the prostaglandin is the, is act on the uh, tissue uh, on the same tissue where uh, where is the, where is uh, synthesized uh, or the same tissue synthesis and act on the same tissue. So prostaglandin considered as a local hormones and can and can uh, act on the same tissue on, uh, on the on the same tissue to produce different pharmacological action so the uh, uh, the important point the uh, prostaglandins not consider as circulating hormone but there is differ from circulating hormone about uh, uh, number 1 uh, the the uh, circulating hormone uh, synthesis by the specific endocrine uh, glands while prostaglandins synthesis in different tissues number two uh, uh, circulating hormone act on the on the other synthesis on the uh, certain uh, uh, certain tissue and act on the other tissue or uh, on the on the target organ while prostaglandins act on different on different tissues the indication or uses of prostaglandins to induce abortion by use prostaglandin E2 and prostaglandin F2 why because this type of prostaglandin when act on the uh, smooth muscle of the uterus can cause contraction lead to or induce this contraction of smooth muscle of the uterus this induce abortion also prostaglandins used to prevent and treat peptic ulcer such uh, by, by use prostaglandin E2 why because these this this prostaglandin uh, induced to uh, secre uh, mucus secretion of the stomach and this act as a protective layer for the mucosa of the sto stomach so the important the important point the important point in this subject in this subject here Here, prostaglandins is one uh, member of the autocoids, autocoid, and this uh, prostaglandin differ from local hormones, local hormones, and other important point, prostaglandin responsible for uh, pain, both peripherally and centrally. Other important point, it is uh, act on the tissues in which they are synthesized and are rapidly metabolized to inactive uh, substance at the site of action. This, this figure also show, show the pathway for the synthesis of prostacycline I2 prostaglandins D2, E2, uh, F2, alpha, and the thrombocin from the uh, uh, membrane phospholipid when uh, at uh, phospholipase A2 uh, on the membrane lipids to convert it to convert to uh, arachidonic acid. And this arachidonic acid in turn converted to prostaglandin G2 and uh, and uh, then uh, this convert to uh, prostaglandin H2 this this reaction in the presence this reaction in the presence of cyclooxygenase 1 or cyclooxygenase 2 or cox1 or cox2 prostaglandin H2 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 uh, 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 is converted in turn uh, 
تو براس ساكلين اي تو بروستوغلاندينز دي تو اي تو اف تو الفا از والاس ترومبوكسين اي تو Also, also uh, here uh, the uh, receptors of uh, here the mechanism is uh, depend on the presence, uh, presence of the uh, uh, prostaglandin receptors. These receptors are these receptors are called prostaglandin receptors. Prostaglandin receptor. And this type there are there are eight subtypes. Prostaglandin E, prostaglandin D, prostaglandin F, prostaglandin I, and the thromboxin, uh, and the thromboxin receptor. And here, some pharmacological action of prostaglandins, uh, as uh, prostaglandin E2, prostaglandin I2, prostaglandin 2 prostaglandin F2 alpha, and uh, thromboxin A2. Here uses or indication of prostaglandin, very common use for uh, induced abortion by prostaglandin E2 and prostaglandin F2. As well as uh, this prostaglandin uh, can uh, use to prevent and uh, treat peptic ulcer by by use by use uh, prostaglandin. E. So this action or this uses of prostaglandins according to the presence of uh, prostaglandin receptors, which give uh, the, um, uh, the pharmacological action uh, or different pharmacological action on different on the uh, on the different uh, tissues. So we can use to induce abortion by prostaglandin E2 and prostaglandin F2, as well as can be, can be used to prevent and treat peptic ulcer by uh, prostaglandin uh, E2. Thank you.